Hi, I'm Joe from Northeast Mountain Guiding. We're based out of Central New Jersey. We're here at Alamucci State Park. I'm with uh, one of our assistants, Kimberly Morda. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Today we're going to go over anchor placements, but our main focus isn't going to be on the actual anchor itself. It's going to be on the rock around it, the structural geology of the stone. So I'm going to go ahead and place a piece of protection in a crack here. Now the anchor I placed, it's multi-directional, bomber placement, nice crack for stoppers. The only thing bad about this is, again, the rock, what we're going to talk about. You want to listen to the rock. This, you can hear the sound here compared to this. The rock's hollow, so right away you know it's rotten. But sometimes the rock doesn't always make that type of sound. So you want to look around for cracks, look at the whole the rock system, the structural geology of the stonework around your anchor placement. Like this piece right here, you can see there's fractures all around. So if you were to take a fall on this actual flake here, the whole thing would probably pop off. It may be good when you're testing it like this, oh, that's an awesome placement. It's not a good placement. The rock is no good. You can even look at some of these other cracks that we have on the rock here. Again, another bomber placement, multi-directional, upward and outward, downward and outward. Um, but we still, this is still another flake system. It's got a crack going all the way up and coming around. You really have to make your anchor placements focus them more on the rock than the anchor, because 80% of climbing accidents happen from rock failure. Um, it's something you want to look for when you're placing anchors. Well, that's about it. Again, I'm Joe from Northeast Mountain Guiding. You can visit us at www.northeastmountainguiding.com.